new shows and patching. So we're going to go to our setup window. We're going to select view settings on the top left and go to new show to start a new show. It will ask you to erase current show from memory. Select yes. This doesn't delete old shows or the current show you're running. It remains saved on the disk, which you can be loaded back into memory later on if you need. We're now going to select normal live as our programming mode and you can change the programming mode at any time. To do that, you'd go to your B encoder here in the setup window and change your prog mode. Changing the prog mode or programming mode doesn't affect anything you've already recorded. It only affects newly recorded items. So you can change programming mode through different users. More information on the differences between the programming modes can be found in the Magic Q manual. So we've now got a new show. To start patching fixtures, we go to our patch window and we go to the view heads view. Because it's a new show, the patch window should be empty at this point. We now need to select the fixture by going to choose head and we're shown our Magic Q fixture library. The Magic Q fixture library has over 32,000 different fixture files in. If you find the fixture you need not in the library, you can request that directly from Camsys. In here, we're now looking at a list of manufacturers and we can find our manufacturer Chauvet. To sort and find in this window, you can type using a keyboard or you can scroll using your F encoder. But let's go to Chauvet and let's find a Maverick spot fixture. So we can find here our Maverick MK2 spot. And we now select the mode that that fixture or instrument has been set on the unit itself. So we select advanced mode because that's what we've set on our light. It's now dropped us back into the patch window, which still has got nothing patched in it, but we've selected that fixture by going to choose head. We now need to patch it. So we go to patch it and our keypad tells us here enter number of heads, that's the number of lights or units you want to patch, at universe, that's the universe on the console, minus channel, the start address of the first fixture. So if I want to patch 10 spots, 10 spots at universe 1 on the console, starting at channel 1, 10 at 1 minus 1. Select enter, and then yes to put them in the visualizer. You've now patched the first 10 spots. Let's go ahead and patch some wash fixtures. Again, choose head. Let's go for manufacturer Chauvet. And this time we're going to select some rogue wash fixtures. So we're going to select the rogue R2 wash fixtures here in 22 channel mode. Patch it again. And let's go for 10 of those. 10 at 2 minus 1. This time 10 of them on Universe 2 on my console starting at channel 1. Enter. And you'll notice two things happening here. When I'm patching fixtures, the DMX address increments up by the number of channels that fixture has by default. So my spots here have gone starting at universe one, channel one, as I entered. The next one is at universe one, channel 33, then 65, then 97, incrementing up by the number of channels of that fixture. The same for my wash lights here, two minus one, 23, 45, 67. And the other thing happening here is our head numbers. We have head numbers in Magic Q, and these are used when you're programming. So you call on fixtures, head number one at full heads one through 10 at 50% or selecting them to apply palettes and colors and things to them. You can change your head numbers. These increment up as you patch different fixtures you can see here, but we can change head numbers by just simply clicking and dragging. Let's say we want our spots to start head numbers 101. And we do that. You can see it's now automatically reordered my patch window because it sorts in head number order. So if I now want to change my wash lights to start head numbers 201, I can do so like so. If you want to patch some dimmer type fixtures, so that may be a Parkan, a Fresnel, a Lipsoidal, we don't differentiate between the type of generic or dimmer fixture that is at the other end of your dimmer. We just patch that as a dimmer fixture. The shortcut for doing that in Magic Q is to select choose dim slash media and select generic dimmer. Again, it's selected the dimmer at the top. We now need to patch it and we can say 10 dimmers at universe three, starting at channel one, enter. And you can see it's now patched my dimmer fixtures. Again, if I want to change the head number, you can click and drag to select all of the head numbers of your dimmers. I can type the number, let's say one, enter, and I want my dimmers to start at head number one. And I've now got a nicely organized patch window, which I can clearly see the fixtures, but also for programming, calling on head numbers, I've got some sort of order to these now as well. If you pre-programmed your show, you arrive at the venue and you need to change the DMX address of a fixture, you can simply do that by clicking in the DMX address field here and typing in a new universe and channel. Because it's patched, you don't need to do the one at bit already. So let's say uh, this dimmer here, 
head number 10 has now been moved to a different universe. It's been moved to universe 5, channel 1. We just type in 5 minus 1, enter, and that's now readdressed that fixture. You can test your fixtures very simply by turning on head test on the C encoder. That turns one row in your window red, and you can use your cursor keys, the arrow keys, to scroll up and down through your patch and verify you have each of your fixtures ready to control and working correctly. When you finish, just toggle it off by pressing the soft button again. To arrange fixtures in your visualizer, and we cover this in more detail in one of our other feature videos, you can go to the View Viz tab here, and you can see your Viz heads. This is all of the fixtures in your visualizer. Very simply to arrange them, I'm going to click and drag and select all my spots. Looking at your encoders, with your soft keys telling you what the encoders are doing, you've got heads, X, Y, Z, position and rotation on these encoders. So I can now take my spots, I can move them up in the air, I can fan them to spread them out. I can now toggle off fan, select my wash lights. Let's move those up a little bit as well. And then I'll leave my dimmers where they are. So now I've got my spots, washes and dimmers patched. I'm ready to go on and start doing some programming with them.